Hi, my name is Jason Harker and I'm a PCA qualified surveyor. And today what we're going to be doing is identifying Japanese knotweed, also known as Fallopia japonica. So a really good way of identifying Japanese knotweed is by how quickly it grows. It can grow up to 40 mil every single day. And as you can see here, this Japanese knotweed is 8 to 10 foot tall and this has all grown since April, May this year and we're only halfway through August. So another really good way of identifying Japanese knotweed are the stems. As you can see here, the stems are a green colour and then they've got these purple speckles on them and this is a really nice clear way of identifying them. What you can also do is if we cut them in two, what you'd find is that they would be hollow in the middle. So as you can see, they're almost like pieces of bamboo. What you've then also got is what's commonly described as a heart-shaped leaf. So as you can see, it comes to a point, but, and it's quite flat here, so it's described often as heart-shaped or shield-shaped. Well, one of the final ways of um, identifying Japanese knotweed is how it grows. And if you can see, it grows in a zigzag motion. So it literally zigzags from one point to the next point, up to each leaf node. And that's also a nice way of identifying Japanese knotweed. The final way of identifying Japanese knotweed is the rhizome itself. This is the part that actually causes all the damage. So if we pull up a piece, as you can see, you have this um, very uh, noticeable orange carrot coloured tint to the root. So if you think you've identified Japanese knotweed in your garden, then the first thing to do is not to disturb it. It only takes a piece of the root or the rhizome the size of your thumbnail to produce a new plant. If you're still not sure if it is Japanese knotweed, then why not take a picture and send it to us? And we'll normally identify it within a couple of hours to give you either peace of mind or to give you the bad news.